hope everybody is doing well today is july 4th and i know people are getting ready to go out and uh, some people are picnicking some people are getting ready for the fireworks and i'm home i'm going to do this video on how a little goes a long way sometimes um we take a little th we take the little things for granted and we say oh that's 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 okay it's okay and it's okay to throw things in the garbage it's not okay to put things in the garbage when we can use it so i'm going to show you today how a little goes a long way i'm going to be using peppers because sometimes when my son cooks and i look in the garbage and i see what goes in the garbage i'm like oh my goodness and if i said to him how come you throw this out this is still good he's gonna say mom it's not good and I was like, oh. So I'm gonna show you today how you can save money. A little bit, a little, little, little goes a long way. So I have these peppers here, and I'm gonna show you. These are bell peppers, these are red peppers. And I love these peppers because, I love them because they have color, I love them because they have flavor, I love them in salad, I love them in meats. So I'm gonna show you. Sometimes I see this much pepper in the garbage, and I'm, like this much pepper this this much pepper i'm gonna come home and i'm gonna see this much in the garbage and i could understand how it's easier to cut the pepper and it looks like this but then this this much pepper goes in the in the garbage believe it or not but if you want to cut pepper to save and this little bit of pepper i'll show you when i finish cut it up how, how much pepper we can save but if we take if we cut the pepper like when I'm using, I don't use a lot. I don't believe a lot makes the food taste good. I think when you cook with joy and when you cook with happiness and when you cook with good spirits, I think your food tastes good because you cook your food with love. And I feel when you cook your food with love and you cook your food with joy, I think it takes really, it tastes really delicious. I don't think you need, I personally think you don't need a lot of anything to make foods uh, taste like delicious. So when I cut my pepper, this is how I cut my pepper. I cut my pepper like this. I come down this way and I cut the pepper. And then I'm, if I'm, I'm using small amounts, so I'm gonna do like this. And then I'm gonna come and I'm gonna curve, curve it like this. So I have this, this pepper here. Well, I'm gonna clean it, of course, so that my pepper looks like this. And then when I'm finished, I'm gonna put this in the, in the refrigerator, please. Just a little sideline. When you bring your vegetables home, remember to wash it because I'm seeing lately, I'm seeing uh, like videos, what people are doing with things in supermarket. It's really not, it's not pleasing to the eyes. It's not pleasing to the stomach. It's not healthy. And I think some people are very, very ill. But anyway, so when we cut in the peppers, we, we cut, I cut like this and then I'm going to cut like this. So when I'm finished cutting my pepper, I, all I should have to put in the garbage is this much. This is all I want to see in the garbage. I don't want to see this much in the garbage because I'm going to show you how much is this much. This much pepper is, and when I tell my son, my son is like, oh, mom, okay. And you know, so this much I would say and when you cut it like this it's more difficult to cut when you you just cut it from around like this it's more difficult to handle so but if you have to save the money you're gonna do it anyway so you're gonna you're gonna cut it like this and you just gonna do this so now you end up making a mess but that's okay so now look at this much pepper if you want to make a tuna fish salad and you have this much pepper and you have this much pepper because if if i had cut it the other way it i would have this going in the garbage and i would also have this going in the garbage so look how much peppers i have here if i have this pepper here and i have this pepper here and i'm going to put this much in a tuna salad if the one can of tuna was just going to serve one person or maybe two persons now this with these peppers some onions you have three servings of uh, tuna fish so you can have three servings of tuna fish salad so this is how i think we should cut peppers to we should uh cut peppers to save money this should not go in the garbage 
And if anybody has um, any, uh, any, um, how I should say, if you think I'm, <laughs> I'm exaggerating, you can please let me know if you haven't seen this much pepper. The only thing I'm gonna say, and I think one of the reasons my son probably like would put this much in the garbage because down to the stem you, is where you would find the dirt. But if you wash it, if you wash it, you take your time and you wash it clean and you can also cut where, you know, where the, like where the crease is and you wash it, you don't have to worry about getting dirt. You're going to have a whole lot of pepper to put in your tuna salad, a whole lot of pepper to put in your shrimp, a whole lot of pepper to put in your fish. So I just wanted to show you today how we could save money and this should not be in the garbage. If, uh, if you see this in much in the garbage, I know how anybody's gonna feel. So that's it on how to cut peppers. I, uh, please, my subscribers, I thank you. My, all my viewers, I thank you. I thank you for watching A Feeling For Some. I love you all so much and thank you for watching A Feeling For Some. I'm just me.